Viking, we we know about basically they're they've got a in their pipeline, they've got something for NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. It's basically this the uh a similar drug to what they have here. Um they've got the phase two that's completed here of VK2735. Again, it's a combination drug. This is the sub Q and it has superior weight loss and superior side effect profile, meaning fewer people are discontinuing mm -hmm. fewer GI side effects. It just seems superior to Eli Lilly or Novo Nordisk. And if you recall, when this came out, both Lilly and Novo took a little bit of a hit uh, that day. I don't know if you remember that, but they, they no, went down I just, a little I, bit. It hasn't broken down. Neither of them have broken down. I'm talking about their, you know, the equivalent there of Viking. So they haven't broken their trend. The day-to-day, -day, as you know, if it's a trend, it's long, it's strong until it does something wrong. So for right now, they're still both working, but I hear your concerns about Novo. So this this has definitely started to make them um, consider next um, steps. Would either of them potentially buy Viking? Yeah, uh, yes, I, I think there's a potential there. Um, but I'm hearing rumors Merck may go for it. Um, oh, interesting. That stock has been looking very nice lately. In fact, it just broke out. Was it all time highs today? Um, they when I last checked, they were close. Oh, yeah. I, no, I no, didn't... no. Today, today broke out above all time highs today. Very cool. Right. I don't even know what was the news. On oh, Merck, you know? um, I'm getting so confused now. Uh, they had some. They had some approvals. Um, okay. They had some approvals. I I have to look again. It's been a long day because I know you were actually up very early because I was, and then you were in the room telling us about up Merck. But yes, I'm looking at this now. It it has hit. So they're a potential um, buyer for Viking. Yeah, I'm. I gotta be honest. I'm. Um, you know, I try to follow. There's there's approximately in my in my main list, which is on my iPad, because I started on an iPad when I was trading in the, you know, in the hospital because you don't. Anyway, you don't have really good access. I've got 700 biotechs in my main list. Now I've cut that down. You know, the ones mainly I follow are about two, there's about 200 biotechs and then a bunch of hospitals and stuff. So I get confused sometimes. <laughs> you know, I, I, we, I, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. All right. But, but there's definitely going to be some uh, rumor about a buyout. What would really entice them to, I mean, obviously the price, but if they have such a compelling drug um, and the stock price is reflecting it, uh, you know, what are the odds of them letting, you know, letting go and, and getting acquired? So. Oh, I trader. think the odds, I think the odds are pretty high. Um, I mean, it's really, it, it's really hard to make it all the way to FDA approval. Not so much. I mean, if you've got a great team, then you can get the approval. That's not the issue, but the investment you have to do in, in your facility and your manufacturing. And when you get an approval, you don't just get the drug approved. You have to, you have to demonstrate to the FDA that you have a safe and effective uh, manufacturing facility, mm -hmm. you know, all that's got to be approved. Um, and then you, you have to create the monitoring team. You know, you're, you're not done after approval. You've got to monitor the drug for a period of time, sometimes many years for side effects and, and so forth. So, um, getting acquired, uh, by another company, like if you get acquired by a major farm farm manufacturer they already have all that you know set up it's much easier yeah. for them to convert yeah. and then if you're the ceo of one of these companies like viking you're you're known as a success if you're the chief medical officer the chief financial officer and the ceo um or vice president of operations or vice president of you know ther therapeutic design and your company gets bought you're listed as a success now your career has just skyrocketed so and um ticket yeah. yeah that's that's a good ticket so <laughs> i know the, the motivation is there um the rumors are there um merck is a potential contender so forward looks yeah. good okay so this was the um 
this is the new slide. This uh, was the data that just came out the other day. This is their phase one trial of their oral drug. Again, the glucagon-like peptide one agonist and the glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide. Say that three times yeah. real fast. Not even once. Um, again, this is a phase one. So this is the, the purpose of this is to determine what's the best dose with minimal side effects. So this is a 28-day multiple ascending dose study. So when you see MAD, it's not because someone's MAD. It stands for multiple ascending dose study. Um, and really, look at the side effect profile. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> I mean, nice. this is what you want. And uh, they've got a significant, uh, um, the placebo weight loss was actually quite high, um, shockingly high. Uh, you really shouldn't have much placebo weight loss at all. And so um, this drug at 40 milligrams had a 5% weight loss uh, you know, at 28 days, um, there are drugs, uh, right now on the market that are taking three months to get, to get to that. Mm. So, um, and then the percentage of patients reporting greater than 5% weight loss, I mean, 57% in the 40 milligram. Um, I want to talk about P value for a minute. So when you look at data, the P value, it stands for probability value. It is the probability that what what you find is due to chance alone. So if you're, the goal in scientific medicine is for your p-value to be less than 5% or less than 0.05. If your p-value is less than 0.05, they determine that is statistically significant, meaning less than a 5% chance that the data you are seeing is due to chance alone. Did I explain that right? Yes, you did extremely well. Okay, that is critically important. If you wish to embark on these uh, biotech evaluations and you're looking at data, just because you see a difference means nothing. You want to see that probability value be less than 5%. Subscribe to LaDuke Trading YouTube channel for more interviews and other content.